Hello everyone. Today Ben and I are going to talk to you about grinding and we are going to demonstrate best practices on how to properly buff and how to properly cross cut. Thanks Rob. If you have a look at the video here, I am doing a thorough job cleaning the panel. So you can see I have cleaner uh, that I sprayed on the panel. If you also noticed, I sprayed the cleaner on the panel and let it sit for a few seconds before I started to wipe it off. That's to allow the cleaner to penetrate into any contaminants that are on the panel and help lift them up. And then I wipe them off, being very particular with getting all the edges and uh, making sure that panel is very clean. That's always the first step in any repair is cleaning the panel. So I'm going to continue in a few moments here uh, with the grinding process. Here everybody, Ben is going to show you the best practice on how to cross cut and then when he's done there, he is going to demonstrate best practices on buff. So you notice that as I was blowing, I was blowing with relatively low pressure, and that's to try and keep the dust down in the environment. Speaking of low pressure, Ben, I noticed that when you were grinding, that you had low pressure, which in turn almost stalled your grinder. Why was that? Well, that was to try and keep the grinding disc moving at a low speed, which prevents heat buildup and warpage in the sheet metal, but that also extends the life of the grinder disc, which in turn allows you to actually grind faster, believe it or not. So how would I know, Ben, if I was maybe using uh, too fast of an RPM while I was grinding? If you're grinding too fast, the panel gets hot, you'll see sparks coming off. You'll also notice that the color of the panel will change to a dark color, it'll get black. On top of that, touch the panel with your hand. If it burns you, what's happening? You're probably using too high of an RPM and creating too much heat. Excellent. So that's the best practices. Now let's uh, have a look at things not to do because these are things that Rob and I see in the classroom all the time. So here's a typical technician doing things that you maybe shouldn't do. So see how many items you can notice in this video.